Alright, so ladies and gents, how you guys doing? In this video, we are going to be doing a comparison of the new MacBook Air's 2013 Haswell chipsets. This is the 1.3 dual core i5, 4 gigs of RAM, Intel HD 5000, 128 GB flash, and this is pretty much the identical version but in a 13 inch. So let's go ahead and do the first test, which is a disk speed test. And let's see what the write and read speeds are. And as you can see, there's already a noticeable difference in the write speeds. I'm assuming that both of these machines are using different models or different brands of SSDs, uh, as was the case in the previous generation. It was Toshiba or Samsung. Uh, this one here has a Samsung, and I believe this one here has a non-Samsung drive, hence why it's a write speed is uh, a bit lower. So make sure when you are getting it that you get the right branded. It's going to be a give and take in terms of which model you get. You might have to swap it out a few times before you get a Samsung branded SSD or a flash drive. Um, but as you can see here, the read speeds on both of them are the same, but the write speeds are noticeably different. Uh, not a big deal, most of you won't notice it, but for those of you uh, who are going to be doing uh, more pro-ish stuff, uh, the right speeds are, is this going to make that much of a difference and you're paying the same price, you're saying, paying the same premium so you might as well get the proper thing. So moving on, in this next test I've got iMovie opened up and I'm going to import files into the project and see um, what the differences are and both at the same time. I don't expect them to be too much far off, in fact they're probably going to be bang on and yes both are about one minute and both of them are saying um, about a minute. I'll zoom in to show you. So here is the 13 inch MacBook Air. About one minute. And let's move over here. About one minute. Both going at the same pace, same kind of thing. And I assume that's mainly because both of them have identical chipsets. Both are 1.3 dual core i5. Not that the graphics are really going to make a difference here, but the processors uh, and the same amount of RAM is. Uh, means that both of them are going to be chugging along at the same pace. So in this final test, we've got a project going, both have the same files, and as you can see, it's um, both are really identical files, and we are going to export these in HD 1080p. So just to show you, same files, and let's go to share and export these bad boys in 1080p at the same time to see which one wins and I suspect both of them are going to be absolutely identical guess why? because both have the same chipsets and yeah just as I expected so you might be asking what on earth is actually different between these two machines there's two major differences number one if you can't already tell 11 inch versus 13 inch. 11 inch is much more easier to carry and yes you can put it in an eye gear jacket with ease and without anyone noticing uh, whereas this one has all day battery life, 12 hours of battery usage which is insane whereas this one has 9 hours. So I'm not going to say this one is more, well this one is more portable but it's not to say this one isn't. Extremely lightweight both machines but obviously to get more portability you're sacrificing screen real estate whereas a 13 inch you're getting more battery life bigger screen real estate and more battery usage uh, all for a hundred pound more this one's priced at 850 this one's priced at 950 in my opinion if you're spending this amount anyway spend that extra hundred pound and go for the 13 inch air but yes if you travel a lot and it's a nightmare with you trying to carry all your tech and you don't really want anything that beastly or that big, then obviously go with the MacBook Air 11 inch. But I hope these tests have helped. Uh, both are still on 11 minutes, as you can see here. 11 minutes, 11 minutes, 11 minutes, 11 minutes, 11 minutes, 11 minutes. Sorry, I just thought that was kind of cool. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments you can ask me on Twitter or ask down below and hopefully someone will help you. Be sure to check out the MacBook Air Haswell video playlist. Your question may have already been answered in a related video. Click on the screen to go there 
and I shall see you in another life. Cheers!